focus on me. I have something exciting to tell you. The bus is back. He got to sleep right outside of my bedroom last night. He's ready for a major bus update. The bus has been at an auto shop for two months now. So I haven't seen it in two months. You guys haven't seen it in even longer than that. So nothing has been done to the bus aesthetically in two months. Internally, the bus has been getting a damn makeover. We bought the bus off Facebook Marketplace. Said that in my first video, but if you're new here, hi, I'm Lainey. I bought a mini bus and I plan on living in it with my boyfriend and my dog. And honestly, looking back, I <laughs> kind of trusted my dad in knowing about the mechanics and whether we were getting a good deal or not uh, internally based on the bus and we didn't get it like checked out before buying it by a mechanic or a professional and if you're looking at buses I highly recommend doing that now could have saved us a lot of money we could have gotten a way better deal on it so we found out that the odometer doesn't even work it says it has 60,000 miles on it but that could be totally wrong um and you know what the heck are you gonna do about that I don't know I'm just praying that the odometer stopped working not too long ago and it's relatively close to 60,000 but and then the brakes were broken a bunch of the alignment stuff like you guys I don't know but it ended up costing pause for dramatic effect Brandon's calling hello it ended up costing around six thousand dollars to fix this bus and get it road ready to drive it basically across the country. Oh my god, another mini bus just drove by. That was cute. That happened. I already said on my Instagram if you guys see me doing more sponsorships. Mind your business. This is definitely more expensive than I thought it was going to be, but I plan on keeping this bus like forever. Especially after putting this kind of money into it. <laughs> I don't want to ever get rid of it and I know I will never make my money back selling this bus. Today, my dad and I, we had to put up a fake like sub ceiling I don't know if that's called a sub ceiling we had to put up a fake ceiling and uh for the inspection when we had to get it registered as a camper and not a school bus so we have to take that ceiling down today and we're gonna work on cutting out where the lights will go in the ceiling that's my first time can you tell um but yeah I'm just excited to get working on the bus we took it on the expressway yesterday and my dad almost freaking popped a wheelie it was terrifying it's honestly not that different from the transit the transit is like a hunk of junk and the bus is gonna be way better than that and we've driven the bus or the transit just about everywhere that's what we got going on today come on oh is that your seat sit is that your seat this is where you're gonna drive That. Yeah, that's better. I think so too. Cool. Okay, I'll go get some screws and uh, we'll just put these in. Okay, what I'm showing right now is my dad and I adding a little more structure to the bed frame area. And in my last video, I showed that we just used two garbage picked doors as the top of the structure to hold the bed, but I got a few comments about mold with the mattress and that you need a little bit of ventilation so we had these smaller pieces and we're putting all those down and drilling them down because we will have these slats for ventilation with the mattress and hopefully this will prevent the molding after that we put this piece of board just so we can lean on the bed and ernie can sit up there while we're working on it but this is just for a placeholder until we get the mattress in what are you doing just filming you and now I said before that we ended up getting battery powered lights, but we still had to just mark where on the ceiling we wanted to cut out holes for the lights so they're flush with the ceiling and not poking out. Day two. So my dad garbage picked <laughs> Hi. like a little hospital bed table and um, it's got a really nice mechanism for a table here. He's grabbing it right now, so, yeah. I'm ready for my table. Sit down. It's awesome. Thank you. Let me see, is there a better one? Oh, these are fine. They work? Yep. So you have a non-printed area, right? 
So you want to bring that like right to the edge. There? Mm -hmm. Your fingers in the way of that? It'll be fine. <laughs> I hate it. not being strong. Okay. It doesn't even look like it's in. It'll hold. <laughs> it has to. show off. That looks amazing though. How can you even be mad when it's so cute? Yeah, you're right. Yep, right there. Okay, if you guys couldn't tell what we were talking about, we got the top parts of the seats done in an upholstery place and they only left us this tiny bit of fabric and to staple it to the bottom of the seat doesn't fold over. So we did some staple and we're gonna take this Gorilla Tape and just put it over it. It's the back edge so nobody's gonna see it. It's just hold it as well as we can for what we have because I'm not buying more fabric or I will be in debt. Flip it over. Dang! Dang! We'll get that one I didn't out. even think about being careful about the lines we <laughs> <laughs> It kind of works. Yeah. Dang! That looks amazing. It really does. And it feels great. Yeah. I love it. Okay, let's go get the other stuff. Look yellow in here. <laughs> it's green inside. It's totally green inside. <laughs> <laughs> no. I guess I got yellow. Just keep that flat. Well, it moves a little, but you'll be fine. One continuous turn. check out what a router is. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm a little short, do you care? Nope. I, Where's your knees? It's just because it's warped, I think. Isn't it? Oh, maybe. I'd, I'd just rather have it low. Oh my god. Uh, we'll fill that in with uh, wood putty. You want to sit there and hold it? Yep. Everything's better because Ernie's cool. He just flunked out of nursery school. Fell in love with the girl at the rock show. I never. You ready? You got it? I know. You're feeling a hole in Good my bus. side. Do you think Ernie's gonna like the bus? We got a little heater. Remember when we started this and it was like 500 degrees outside? And now it's freezing. Hi everyone. Day three. Um, my dad came this morning. It's n noon now, but my dad wakes up at 3.30 a.m. He's a crazy guy, I know. <laughs> but we wanted to have heat in the bus today because it's pretty cold. Brought Ernie also. So he installed this plug. Where is it? There. And it plugs on the outside. Um, he did that this morning. But it's so, if Brandon and I decide to go to a campsite, they always have plugs at the campsite, like for electricity, and we can plug in and we can run our bus that way instead of using the solar panels. I think, I don't know what else we're doing today. I think Brandon's gonna come see the bus, and Brandon hasn't seen the bus since we put the floor in because he went to school. Most schoolies I see, they don't have seat buckles or keep the seat buckles. But we wanted as much safety as possible, especially with Ernie. I want to be able to buckle him onto a seat so he's not just walking around the bus. We just kept the seat buckles from the bus, and this is me just putting them in. Again, we used the original seats from the bus and just upholstered them, so this was super easy to bolt them into the seats again. Bus check. I really don't feel like people put seat belts in their bus. 
I'm gonna do the next slide, but I don't want you guys to watch because I'm not very good at it and I look sloppy. We're doing super little things right now that are not fun. Like adding more molding to the other side. So I thought I'd give you this clip of me and Ernie eating at the table together. Ernie. Did you see that? Give me a kissy. I don't want to kiss you. What was that? So this is the lid to like where we're gonna put clothes and stuff. And I think I already showed this. When you hinge it up, we've got all this storage. But what we realized was that the bed only comes to here. And if we just left it like empty or whatever, the mattress would slide a bunch. So we're gonna have this here. We have it over the edge a little bit for the lip. And then here, we're gonna build up a headboard type of thing and it has to be at least 12 inches I guess it doesn't have to be but I want it 12 inches because the mattress we have that's gonna go in the bus is 12 inches which is really high and I might not like but it's what we have right now and I don't want to spend a lot of money on a mattress to us <laughs> Ernie said are we driving <laughs> where are we going so more, we're going fast. <laughs> Mom, slow down. Am I driving right now? <laughs> Where's the gas? <laughs> Ernie, where are you taking Side us? Side the steering something? Oh, what's this one? Like? Are they watching me? <laughs> Here's that little cubby flap I was talking about earlier. That's going to go on the edge of the windows next to the bed. We used a piano hinge to connect this piece to the wall, and here I'm just sanding it and staining it, getting it ready aesthetically for the bus. What's this thing? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even when the night changes, it will never change. Oh, I door open in here. It's freezing. It is colder, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. What? Cute. I can't remember if I said this or not, but here's a really great visual of little plants that are going to go in this trough area by the bed. Like, how freaking cute is that? Oh my god. Steering is kind of weird. Really? It doesn't feel like you know on a car when you turn, you can like feel the resistance almost. Yeah. You don't really feel the resistance. It almost feels like it's pretend steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie, it's gonna be so awesome for you guys traveling this way. Yeah, there's no stopping fast. Yes. <laughs>